New details tonight about what happened in the months before three people went missing. Moments, I should say, uh, before those three people went missing while boating in Lake Maripaw. The search ended last night in tragedy when the last two bodies were recovered. As News 2's Katie Easter reports tonight, wildlife and fisheries agents have responded to nearly as many drownings this year as last. Things out here on the river are much slower than what they were over the weekend. The waters are calm, but wildlife and fishery agents tell me it's been a busy and sad season. About a week ago, we had a spanning male that drowned in the Virgin Canal about, about two miles from this location here. Sergeant Randy Lanou says this year he has seen a total of seven drownings related to boating incidents in his region. So far this year, there have been 19 drownings. In all of 2021, there were 26. Swimming is an extremely ta tasking task. You know, it exhausts you very quickly. And people overestimate that. And they'll get halfway across and realize that I'm not going to make it. Well, now you're halfway. The most recent deaths happened this week. 20-year-old Zane Bryant went to help his friend, 18-year-old Zachary LaDuff, when he got into trouble swimming in Lake Maripol on Sunday. Then 48-year-old Michael Bryant tried to help both of them. Others from their boat called for help after all three vanished. Prevailing conditions, just like in this incident this weekend, changed dramatically in a matter of minutes. And you have to be prepared for that. If you don't have the ability to overcome, like, wave actions and things like that, that's where these tragedies occur. Lanou warns that swimming in a pool is much different than open water. If you don't have the skills to rescue a drowning person, we don't recommend you, you try to do that. Throw them something or extend a pole or something to them to try to, to get them out. If there is someone in the water that needs help and you don't have a life-saving device, the best thing you can do is to throw them an empty cooler. In Livingston Parish, Katie Easter, WBRZ News 2. Children younger than 17 are required to wear a life jacket, and officials recommend everyone else wear one.